We're in Omaha, Nebraska, looking at three outdoor space renovations, each one done for $80,000. Mike Castling wanted to create a space for his teenage girls and their friends. His designer, Anita Wickman, kept fun as the main focus. We are about 25 minutes uh, straight west of downtown Omaha. The area we're in is called Baywood. Uh, most of the homes are traditional two-story brick homes. Uh, probably what I love most about this neighborhood is all the trees. My style is very uh, open, very, I like lots of color, so Californian, Hawaiian in style. Before the pool was here, the pool house was here, and also the pergola was here, but nobody ever went there. It was just, it was, it was unused space. I really wanted to create an area that wasn't just for summer, but could be used almost year round. He wanted to make this outdoor living space. So one of the things he asked about was, you know, could we have a rug in there? And actually Anita came up with the idea of doing a stone mosaic. Also have two others out by the pool. It's probably more on the splurge side. Um, versus a rug, but it's something I think is very unique. Mike wanted to put a fireplace, and instead of just having the fireplace between the columns facing this way, we made it three-dimensional. It's very sculptural. Which just gives it a unique, fun look to it. Actually, reading the pool house was not in the plan uh, off the start. What he had before was more of a kitchen setup, which wasn't really what worked. Probably the biggest splurges uh, would be I put in these uh, freezer drawers because I did want to have uh, popsicles and, and cold things for the kids out here. I put in a commercial ice maker, and I also put in a glass see-through beverage center. It just gives it a fun look with some color, and you can kind of see all the pop and everything in there. But one of the probably the best thing we did was create all these cubbies here so the kids could just come in, throw their stuff here, it's out of the way. Basically, when we redid this area on the pool deck, we actually added a darker liner. It really gave it a richer look. Also, the side benefit with that was it basically hides the dirt, so you don't have to clean as often. I added uh, four laminars that shoot out and just give some nice sound. The kids kind of like playing in it. I mean, I love it. I love the sound of water, and, and it's so relaxing but it was definitely probably something over the top. This area is surrounded by the Lake Serensky Preserve area. Mm -hmm. Very coveted land. So quiet. Yes, Lovely. absolutely. Pretty big homes. Yes. Expectations will be very high for mature landscaping and a great place to entertain. I'm ready. Let's go look. OK, this is a party. It is a party. It is a party. <laughs> That's what it was made for. Exactly. <laughs> the Omaha home buyers, they're going to have their jaw dropped. It's amazing. There you go. Good. <laughs> she won't get thrown in. <laughs> but this. <laughs> My mosaics. The mosaics. <laughs> I like them. I do too. Yes. This is bugging me. It bugs me too. Okay, guys. <laughs> oh. Ouch. That's a few thousand dollars that's not well spent. Agreed. Wait till she sees the big mosaic. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> We're on a downhill slide on that. But there is something really cool that I have to show you. What? Check this out. A little Vegas in Omaha. There's a little of a Bellagio <laughs> element here, I must say. The tacky line is right here, and we're about to cross over. But I'm OK with it. I think Omaha home buyers will be, too. I didn't like that tacky on the line of tackiness, but. But I think we went her over. <laughs> I think so. Love this little room. Yes, I think it's great. Here it comes. Here it comes. <laughs> okay, we're waiting. Again, I'm having huge problems with these mosaics. I agree. The mosaics <laughs> Drop the mosaics. We get you. You don't like them. <laughs> Easily could have been remedied with an area rug. We did it on purpose. Exactly. I love the fireplace. I don't like the style. I think it's a little dated. Oh, wow. and we love that style. We love the style. It's sculpture. We have a really aggressive metalwork uh, display with broken glass. I think less is more. See, I don't agree. I think it adds color, and then having the metalwork and the fire dancing through it, I think it's cool. I hear what you're saying, but buyers in this price range are also looking to stand out and feel different. She gets it. Genevieve, you're going to the pool. <laughs> Lisa, you're good. <laughs> it's going to make it stand out. in a good way. I do. I think it's unique in a poo-poo way. 
<laughs> poo poo way. Wow. Is that a designer term? Okay. Pool house. Liking the cabinet color. Again, that's kind of a surprise for me, but it ties in with the pool so well. Mm -hmm. And it's fun. There you go. She Good deal. No, I'm no more poo poo. <laughs> She's not going to poo poo that one. <laughs> The refrigerator feels a little bit like it should have been in a bar, mm -hmm. a bit industrial. Oh, and that was our favorite part. I know. Really? So the gist is they don't like my splurges. They don't like the mosaics, and they don't like the refrigerator. Oh, I'm thinking mm. you're right. Storage plus. And then down the hallway, we have a whole wall. And I think that's an A plus for me. Sexy. Storage is sexy? <laughs> <laughs> I can think of a lot of sexy things, but I don't know if I call storage sexy. So I think there's just as many hits as there are misses from a design standpoint. Wow, she's confused. <laughs> the big question is, can this community support something of this style and this price? Go back to the mosaic stuff. Because I'm, <laughs> I'm not quite sure if she likes the mosaics or not. I'm a little confused with her reaction. Coming up. Love the deck to wrap up the side. I agree. Just so much money on our money pot. And later. It was beige on beige on beige with a big dose of vanilla. And I don't think they got their bang for their buck, in my opinion. <laughs>